Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, where I cover the latest streetwear news. And who would have thought in the series, well we just generally talk about streetwear. In today's video, I'm going to be covering all my thoughts and opinions on Palace Skateboards' Winter 2021 lookbook. Welcome back to another lookbook video, guys. <laughs> well, another streetwear talk video covering a lookbook. I was meant to upload the Kith one on Friday, but I got held up with social events, hanging with friends, so it got delayed until today. But uh, I've made sure that right after I've now clocked off my working from home shift, I cover the Palace Winter 2021 lookbook for you guys. And I just have to say, I'm very disappointed in Instagram's algorithm. I saw the first post about this new palace season literally on Sunday, when everyone was talking about it on Friday. So I was incredibly delayed. <laughs> I am only now catching up. I've tried to hold myself off from looking at any images of this season though. I don't want to spoil anything. So this lookbook, me going through it for you guys on this video, It'll be my first impressions and all my thoughts and opinions on the images uh, in this lookbook and the pieces that we shall see in it. Now, I do also have the drop details for week one for you guys as well, which I'll throw up on the screen now. This is when week one is dropping. It'll be this Friday. I will cover this season in drop list videos if you guys subscribe. <laughs> uh, and week one is always the hardest week to get the... Uh, most accurate drop list and the to uh, total drop list for that week uh, versus any of the other weeks in a palace season. They like to keep season, uh, sorry, week one quite secretive and quite hard to get the, uh, you know, scoop on. But all the other weeks, palace is like, whatever, you all came here for week one, we'll just tell you what's releasing in the other weeks. <laughs> so if the uh, drop list video is uh, really close to the actual drop time of week one, I'm sorry guys. Um, I'm doing the best I can with the info that I've got. But anyway, that's enough about week one. You guys are here for the lookbook. Let's get into it. So I'll be using a Hypebeast article today to cover the lookbook because I like how the images are set out in the Hypebeast article versus the Palace official store. Just a personal preference. We'll head on over there now and we'll start covering the uh, lookbook for Palace's Winter 2021 collection. To kick off Palace's Winter 2021 lookbook, we have, I guess, a Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> we have denim on denim, but it is a little bit different from your conventional denim jacket showcased here. I think the silhouette that this denim jacket is, is a Harrington jacket, but you definitely can correct me in that comment section below. Could also be, uh, you know, referred to as a work jacket. It would have a bunch of different names, but it's not your conventional one that we know, you know, the iconic one, um, a trucker jacket, if you will. Uh, this one features palace lettering done all over both the pants and the chest here. Frayed, looking very destroyed. And then on the uh, closure of the jacket as well, you can notice that there is some fraying as well. It hasn't done a lot, looking at this first look, but um, maybe you guys are feeling it more than I am. We get it showcased to us again in the second image. Again, the pieces aren't really doing much for me. Not the strongest way to start off the Winter 2021 lookbook, but maybe there's something further down the line. I also noticed that there is a, a button-up tee also peeking through here as well. Don't know if that one's denim. It's really hard to tell what it is because the jacket is obviously zipped up. Maybe we'll see it further down the line. Next, we get showcased to us a grid puffer jacket with a 3M Triferg logo on it, as well as a balaclava, <laughs> which is pretty cool, uh, with what looks like 3M branding on the top of it there as well. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the puffer jacket because it's just not a silhouette that I like to wear. It's just not for me, but I know that's going to be a heavy hitting piece that a lot of people are going to be fans of, especially if Palace has thrown a huge ass Triferg on the back of it. Have they done that though? I don't know. Uh, we can see it fully zipped up and on uh, here in the next image. We get a Sherpa jacket showcased to us here in image five. It showcases uh, some contrast looking panels as well. Uh, we've got a 
button closure for the pockets there and a Triferg brand on the left arm as well as a nice fuzzy little beanie up here <laughs> well looks like a faux fur beanie hey look I you can definitely look at these images that we've just seen and say yep this is a fall 2021 lookbook so palace has nailed the vibe they definitely have caught it there next we get a high collar uh tracksuit looks like a uh, either a cotton one or a, it is more fleece like i suppose so you probably refer to it as a fleece one it has a full it has a half zip yeah a half zip here going all the way up to the top of the uh, turtleneck collar there i mean i think it's all right you can you know always go with a nice little sweatshirt there be comfy to wear on a plane for leisure it's nice it's not something i gravitate to straight away because i don't normally wear something like this and there's only certain scenarios that i would wear something like this but i know a lot of people are huge fans of these things i can definitely see this coming in a bunch of other colors as well next we get a crew neck showcase to us with just a very nice bit of branding on the chest there it kind of looks like the snickers logo i like I, uh, maybe the coloring is like the chocolate bar uh I don't know if that's intentional. Is it referring to colors of a different logo that I don't know? I don't know. That's my first thought when I like look at that logo there. I, maybe I'm seeing something that nobody else has seen, <laughs> but it looks like that to me. Uh, look, it's nice and simple. I wouldn't mind seeing what other colors this piece comes in. Next, we get a plaid button up shirt, or I should say a plaid polo, then with some plaid pants as well with zip closures on the knees not really doing too much for me here it looks a bit i don't know just odd uh we get a a pigeon or dove uh camo jacket here not a huge fan of the desert camo they've chosen and the graphic just kind of looks a bit odd on top of desert camo it would have looked nice in a solid color than the graphic on the back of it or just the piece by itself with no graphic on the back of it and just the camo putting them together was a bit too much for me here we get the front of the jacket showcase to us. It looks like it's a reversible jacket. It, as we can see here, we can see the tartan lining of it as well. And that looks to match the pants that we saw before. So maybe it's reversible here and same with the pants. I honestly don't know. Uh, it's a bit of an odd piece. Not a huge fan of this one. Uh, again, really weird that they chose camo than tartan. It's just a, it's too much. There's too many patterns and prints and graphics and everything. It's, it's too much. Just stick to one palace. <laughs> we don't need three different options here for this jacket. Just make three different jackets. Ooh, anyway, we get a, a plaid button up t-shirt underneath. Not really doing too much for me there. Next, we get a huge coat showcase to us with a nice little embossed Palace Triferg logo on the back and 3M branding on the left arm there. Solid, I like its choice of just one solid color for it uh, and it's a really nice blue. Not a silhouette that I would normally wear, but uh, yeah, I know that's gonna be a very popular piece for this season. We get the front of it showcased here. I like the pocket paneling on this one. One pocket for the left breast, two down here. It's nice. It is a very solid piece there. We also get the purple sweatpants for the uh, tracksuit that we saw before showcased to us down the bottom there. Uh, next we get a... It looks like a combination between a polo and a crew neck. I don't know if you guys see it there as well, but it features uh, buttons up here, a collar, but then it looks like a crew neck sweater. Look. If they just like kept it as a sweater with this branding on it, it would look nice. If they just did it as like a short sleeve polo, it would be nice. But putting them together to do a polo sweater, I don't know, man. It's a bit too wacky for me. It's I, like I like the like the colors they've used for this and the logo, but I don't know, man. With a collar and the yeah, it's just not for me. We get some all over print denim down the bottom there. Don't mind that. I'd be interested to see if there's a matching jacket for it. Uh, next we get a big Palace P logo long sleeve. Not really sold on that graphic there. We get a beanie showcase to us done uh, in a very, I guess, raw looking uh, material. We get a Palace jacket done uh, with a attached balaclava or I guess like really big hood yeah i'm not really feeling this first half of the lookbook there's no big massive outwear pieces crew necks hoodies that's really hitting for me at the moment 
Um, I, it could change though. Next we get a Gore-Tex corduroy jacket. I quite like this one for its use of corduroy and just a use of a different material um, when it comes to this Gore-Tex jacket. Normally they try and go with something a bit more conventional, but I like the crazy use of material here. Uh, we've got branding uh, on the pocket on the uh, stomach area there, and we get the matching pants with it. That's a fun time. Uh, I don't mind this one. I'd love to see what other colors it comes in, and I'm really happy to see Palace use different materials for that one. Next, we get our first knit showcase to us with a matching what looks like knit beanie. We get Palace done in a... <laughs> Uh, ooh, some uh, very political graphics and uh, colouring there <laughs> uh, with the sickle and the and the hammer. I interesting. <laughs> Good on you, palace. I mean, you do you, man. Uh, yeah, look, um, I it's okay. I, I think I prefer the knits from last season, but I mean, this one's all right. Uh, and next we move into the dog knit beanie up there as well with a little dog graphic on it. I hope that graphic uh, reappears in some other pieces like outwear or hoodies or something like that. Uh, next we get a faux fur uh, type balaclava, I guess. It's really hard to determine what that is because it looks like the crew neck underneath of it is a different piece. I don't know if they're two pieces or just one piece. I like the font used on the crew neck though. I'd like to see the crew neck in some different shots, but the, uh, yeah, whatever that like hat is or whatever it is. Yeah, that's, um, that's an odd choice. It's definitely an odd one, uh, but yeah, solid crew. Got to say that. Next, we get a hoodie showcasing a big embroidered graphic on the back of it with a bunch of martial art poses. It says Palace International Federation. Uh, it's not really, I guess, referring to a certain federation or anything. I'm assuming it's some kind of ma uh, martial art federation that it's like pointing at or, you know, making a um, reference to. I like the graphic on the back of it. I think it's sick. It's awesome that they didn't do it as a print, but as like this huge embroidered patch on the back of it. And I like the graphics up the side of the hood. I'd love to see some other images of this. Uh, we get some other images showcased down the arms there. It is a little bit more tacky now that I get a, like, a proper look at it. I'm going to have to see this in some other colors and see how it really hits though. Ooh, very nice. We've got a floral uh, embroidered palace hoodie. It features palace on the chest there done in like some rainbow embroidery and flowers down the sides of it. I like the flowers. I like the colors. That is a really solid hoodie. That is a bi big standout piece there. I'm a fan of that one there. That's actually pretty crazy to be dropping. Next, we've got the Palace London, I guess, two, uh, I guess a third zip. I don't know. It's really hard to measure those lengths of zip. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's solid. The colors are nice. The branding colors are nice. They've done a very good job there picking the colors out for it. Hopefully the other colors this one comes in uh, work just as well as this cream one showcased. We get some zipped uh, nylon pants down the bottom there. They look all right too. We get a corduroy button-up t-shirt with Lucian rocking that. Not really feeling that one. It's not doing too much for me. Got Palace London on the written on the back of it, if that's your thing, but not speaking to me. Uh, we get a plaid hoodie. I'm actually a fan of this. I actually think this is really nice. I like the colors on it. Uh, I like the pockets on it as well. I think this is cool. That's a cool Palace hoodie. And we get a green color of the pants that I just talked about showcased on the bottom. I'm definitely feeling this last half already in these five images. <laughs> what, how many images does, yeah. Look, from 20 onwards, I'm already feeling more than uh, from zero to 20 on the amount of images that we had showcased to us. <laughs> Hopefully they have some heavy, heavy hitting pieces as we get closer towards the end of it. Uh, we've got a plaid jacket featuring some embroidered graphics on the collar and sleeves. I quite like this. I like the colors. I like the graphics. That's a fun time. I'd love to see it in the other colors it comes in. We've got a uh, we've got a zip up jacket, which uh, looks like a Sherpa or fleece jacket. Probably fleece is a better uh, descriptive word for it. We've got palace logo on the left breast. Pocket up here. Not a huge fan of this silhouette. But uh, I know there's a couple of people that will be feeling a jacket like this. I just can't see myself wearing a jacket like that. We've got uh, a rainbow palace star beanie showcased up there. 
We've got the same jacket that was showcased to us before in the desert camo, but in a different color now. Or at least I think it's the same jacket because the panels on the front look like the same as the panels on the back on the desert camo one. We've got the button up uh, plaid t-shirt there with the triferg on the pocket. Eh. We've got a pink version of the jacket that we saw before. I'm actually liking this jacket the more than I'm seeing it. I, I would like to see the other colors. We've seen a cream and a pink version. Hopefully there's like a third or fourth color for it. We've got some crazy all over print pants there. They look like denim. So that looks like some crazy denim we're getting this season. We get another color of the grid puffer jacket showcased to us. I wasn't a huge fan of this silhouette to start off with. We get a vest and what looks like a t-shirt version of the jacket that we saw before. I Yeah, I mean, before, yeah, like that looks thicker, especially around where the buttons are, than this one. So I think there is two different versions of it. I think there is a long sleeve version and a jacket version of this piece here. So cool to see it come in two different versions there. Oh, okay, that looks a little bit weird. <laughs> and this is a better outfit worn with that uh, button up tee. Um, sorry, button up long sleeve than uh, this one is. I don't know, I'm not feeling this. It looks like he's about to go on a date or something. <laughs> this one looks more streetwear aesthetic. I like this outfit a little bit more. <laughs> Corduroy uh, vest as well, which is pretty crazy. So there you go. There's that. Uh, a very utilitarian jacket here featuring pockets that look detachable. Um, heaps and heaps of pockets. Was this the same jacket as the blue one that we saw before? No, it looks a little bit different. This is pretty crazy. I expected this from a winter collection, but damn, we're getting some crazy jackets this season. We got a uh, matching um, jacket and pants. I think it's the same piece that we were talking about before, the desert camo one, just because the panels on the chest there. Um, ooh, we got a diamond quilt, uh, I guess you'd say bomber jacket is probably the best silhouette to align with that. I like the graphic on the back of it. I like the huge diamond quilt all over it. It's fun. I want to see the other colors, but I do really like this silver color here. We got some cord pants down the bottom there. They're not speaking to me as much, but that jacket there is definitely speaking to me. We've got it showcased to the front of us. It looks like we've got the Einstein knit that we can see down there. That was one of the initial teasers for this whole season. Uh, we've got a knit jacket releasing this season as well. Um, I've, I think this is the first time that I've noticed that there's a, a woman in the lookbook as well. Has Palace had women in their lookbooks before? Not that I can remember. I mean, props to them if this is. Maybe I haven't been paying enough attention, but good on them. Good on them. Uh, we get the jacket showcased to us in a different color here, which is all right. We get a bucket hat showcase to us, the opened up blue jacket we saw before, and a fleecy button up. They're focusing on a lot of fleece this season. Uh, this is the second last image in the lookbook. And last but not least, we get a palace cap with big fluffy ears coming down there, showcasing the Iron Stein. <laughs> Stein being a liter of beer there. Uh, knit. I'm not a huge fan of the knit, although it is a bit of a laugh, like you could get a joke out of it, but once people see you wear it more than once, the, jo the joke's kind of over. You're like, oh yeah, you're wearing that piece again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't see myself picking up that knit. I liked the collegiate knit and the knits that released last season. Uh, yeah, look, I gotta say, the first 20 images of the lookbook weren't doing too much for me. The pieces showcased here, they weren't hitting at all for me. Uh, and then it was definitely in the last half of the lookbook here, 20 images onwards. The pieces that were showcased here were definitely more my thing. Uh, they nailed it though. It is a winter lookbook. You can tell by the 10,000 jackets that were showcased in this lookbook. <laughs> you know, the puffer jackets, the beanies, like they definitely captured the winter vibe. Um, unfortunately though, there's I, I would say there's less pieces in this lookbook that have hit me hard compared to the previous lookbooks. That we have seen this year uh there uh, don't get me wrong there are still some cool pieces that i've seen in this lookbook but um none of them are hitting for me as much but maybe you guys feel very different maybe you thought this lookbook was absolutely amazing maybe there were some pieces that you just fell in love with and you really like them maybe that's the case uh seriously uh, i'd love to know all your thoughts and opinions now that i've covered it uh on this winter 2021 lookbook down in that comment section below
But that is it guys, that is the lookbook for Palace's Winter 2021 collection. The first week of that said collection will be dropping this Friday and I will try and cover it for you as soon as I have the information. Uh, I cannot give you a rough estimate of when that video is going to come out. It's probably going to be around Thursday or Friday. It's going to be really close to the drop because as I mentioned, week one, hard week to get info on. Uh, how do I feel about the lookbook now that I've gone through it all? I don't think it hit as well as previous seasons. There are less pieces from the lookbook that I've seen that I am uh, keen on compared to previous seasons. Uh, hopefully the range blows me away and there's some crazy pieces in there. I won't be covering that in a video, but don't know if I'll be looking to pick anything up this season. In saying that, I haven't been picking up a lot from Palace as of late because I've been so focused on spending my money on undercover and capital and stuff like that. but. Yeah, if there's a piece that persuades me enough, I'll definitely put the money towards it, though. Uh, I'd love to know how you guys feel about this season, though. Uh, how do you like the lookbook? Is there anything you're feeling? Let me know everything you have to say about the winter 2021 season or the lookbook down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming uh, drop lists, or sorry, weeks for this season, upcoming Palace collaborations and everything like that, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator you can give me is obviously by subscribing to the channel. We're trying to aim for the new subscriber milestone on the channel as well of 3,100 subscribers. Uh, hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of October. But that is everything I've really got to say about this lookbook, guys. It didn't hit as hard as I wanted it to, but that's just my personal opinion. I mean, you can obviously tell me how you feel about it as well. But uh, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video, until the next Palace video, guys, I'll catch you later.